How did I get so many? And, um, Natsuki has informed me of a few things. For example, I understand that we're the... Dokis? <laughs> and that, uh, you may know more than it seems you should. But I will do my best, and like I said. So, let's begin, shall we? Never considered hunting for buried treasure. Well, that's a... Uh, there you go. That's actually a normal question to start off with. Kinda. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of random, but at least it's not lewd. <laughs> um, I can safely say I haven't. In this day and age, the very notion is somewhat ridiculous. Even with a metal detector, what could you hope to find? What do you think that time? What do you think of that time where you were super weird and obsessed over MC and told him he touched yourself <laughs> with his pen? And there it is. <laughs> Literally the second question. Bravo. Bravo, interview club. <laughs> she's like, huh? <laughs> they know more than they should. Uh, wait, hold up. She's not going to know that that happened, though, because that happened yeah. in Act 2. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, oh my. <laughs> I, um, I think you may be misinformed of some things. I haven't taken any of MC's writing utensils, and I would never... To do something so shameful with them. Also, what do you think about your fans constantly claiming you're the best? You could say that about all of them. <laughs> that question can go to any of the girls. <laughs> what do you think about your fans constantly claiming you're the best? Apart from the final questions, I kept these in the order they were posted. That's funny, so that was the second question posted? That's hilarious. M my fans? I, um... I don't really think I'm the best, or very remarkable at all. I hope they're not annoying you, are they? No, Yuri, they're fine. Actually, Yuri fans are pretty <laughs> passive people. <laughs> weirdly. <laughs> not, not weirdly, they're like Yuri. <laughs> they're pretty passive people. The Natsuki fans are the, are the loud, vocal, are the vocal the group. <laughs> A long time ago, my favorite used to be Yuri. Uh, person, I can't watch stream because I, well, the internet's too good. That's fine, Mr. Potato Man. I appreciate you trying to watch. See you later, dude. What do you think about your father, Dan, saying that your poems aren't as great as you think they are? <laughs> what do you think about your fans denying it? I forgot Dan said that! Wait, what did he say? He said that Yuri's poems aren't as great as they think they are, as she thinks they are. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot Dan said that. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, hey, what do you think about your SB? You can't read them though, Zerg. Hey. We don't talk about my disability. <laughs> <laughs> my father's name isn't Dan, so, so I'm not sure who you mean. <laughs> or what he has against my... I don't... Oh no. <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea. Oh no, oh no. Uh, Yuri, are you okay? There, there, calm down. Is she alright? I think we're off to a rough start. Oh please, two posts in and you're breaking down already? Listen up, Yuri. This might not be what you want to hear right now. But you gotta be tough. Not everyone pulls punches online. If I could bear my soul to these people and tell them about my personal life, then I'm sure you can handle it too. So chin up, alright? If they ask pushy questions, you give pushy answers. Or you'll never get through this whole thing. Natsuki, that's really insensitive. You shouldn't... No, no, she's right. I need to be strong. Thank you, Natsuki. Anytime, Yuri. Show them what you got. Okay, I'll try. I... I don't know who this Dan person is. But if he doesn't think much of my work, then... He's entitled to his opinions. I write to myself first and foremost. And I quite like my style, so I'll stand by it regardless. What do you think about some of your more... eccentric fans? And last, what do you think about the joke that your fans can only see your chest? <laughs> I'm not sure what to make of my fans. I've only recently been introduced to them. But whether they think I'm the best, or they're, or they're eccentric, or focused on my chest, <laughs> they have their reasons for liking me. And that's all that matters, whatever you may think. Atta girl. 
<laughs> I like that they had to get everyone else to show up because Yuri, like, shut down. <laughs> oh, hey, Tormuse. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> so I like how Yuri shut down because she was like, oh, no. This guy's just getting weird. To be fair, she's not my favorite, but I don't have anything against her. Same, Sean. I also don't have anything against Yuri, even though she's not my favorite. I hope this isn't too evasive or anything. Have you ever learned the fictional language from a book? It's just Quenya from Lord of the Rings? I hope I said that right. <laughs> and if yes, then why? I'd honestly find it really cool if you did that. Ah, fictitious languages. While I do like to get immersed into fantasy, they've never gone quite that deep. It seems impractical to learn an entire language that doesn't exist. It's much easier to just look up translations for such things. Sorry if that's disappointing. <laughs> Sorry if that's disappointing. What would you be your what would be your favorite Shakespearean play? I'm studying Hamlet at the moment, so this just came to mind. Alternatively, what would your favorite quote be from a Shakespearean play? Although considered two classics of literature, Shakespeare isn't much within my realm of interest. His works were often historical in nature, detailing true events or drama or dramatizations. As such, they don't truly capture my imagination, but it's by no fault of their own. However, I am familiar with some of them. My favorite quote would be Caesar's dying words. Oh, it e too brute, then fall, Caesar. I felt it spoke. Gr I felt it spoke greatly to Brutus, Brutus's character that Caesar respected his choices, even though it meant his despise. It meant his demise. I can't talk right now. <laughs> you can't. Also, have you tried English tea? <laughs> yes, I've tried several. They're a little too strong for my tastes. Some are so bitter, I'd like them to coffee. It's too much for me. Perhaps it's because I'm more used to local teas. Oh god. <laughs> Did you ever hear the tragedy of, dark of Darth Plagueis the Wise? <laughs> no, I've never heard of them. I'll look it up later. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Prequel memes. They're coming. They're coming in. <laughs> Howie, you stutter worse than she does. <laughs> it's because Yuri uses big words! <laughs> My Yuri is my- is not my strong suit. <laughs> what? What? What did you say? <laughs> I said, oh, Zero can't read big words. You sneak dissing me over there? <laughs> <laughs> this is mean. <laughs> Butchering Shakespeare. I'm sorry, I don't read Shakespeare. <laughs> oh, I don't. You should. You said it all wrong. It's et tu, Brute. Okay, sorry. Et tu, Brute. What does that mean? I think it means you too, Brute. <laughs> I don't speak French. <laughs> I mean, I kind of do, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, I think it's you too, Brutus. Yeah. Oh, it means and you, Brutus. Oh, no, you got it right. Oh, okay, yeah, that was close. Yeah, I got it. Woo! <laughs> you too and and you is like the same. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of tea? Hey Yuri, I wanted to know what's your favorite kind of tea. Hey Yuri, what's your favorite kind of tea? Also, do you prefer it hot or iced? Hello Yuri, I hope you're well. Just got a few nice tape questions for you. Uh, what's your favorite kind of tea? <laughs> <coughs> I understand that you're a fellow tea drinker. What kind would you say is your favorite? I'm rather partial to Earl Grey myself. I'm very intense. <laughs> you know what tea I like? I like black tea or I like green, the blueberry green tea. I like those. With honey in it. Are you Yuri? <laughs> <laughs> Was I asking you? No, but I wanted to answer the question. Well, you wait till Yuri answers. Then you get the answer. You're so mean. No, that's how everything works. You're from Monica AMA Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring Moni from Afro Zero. <laughs> Let's see, my favorite tea. This question's a little difficult. There are many kinds I adore. Although it's a common favorite, I'm very partial to green tea. But it's a tad unjust to merely say green, as there are many varieties of it as well. Ordinary green tea is mild and earthy, but even it can be spiced up with some small additions. Oolong tea has also has a high degree of ver vers versatility. Jesus, its taste can range drastically depending on how it's prepared. 
I do prefer my tea hot, though ice can be a good could be good on a warm day. Jeez. Oh, that was a donation. Oh, Cam donated ten dollars. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you, What do you mean? I was moving the window so I could look at Cam's donation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he said, want to emphasize I appreciate you, this channel, and your server so much. The past three weeks have been kicking my ass, but you and everyone here never fails to make shit not suck. <laughs> so thank you for creating that. Hey, man, I appreciate it. I appreciate that we're able to do this stuff for you. And everyone else who we may help <laughs> along the way. <laughs> Holly, I'm good at big words, so I have plenty to use. Oh, well, you do use plenty of them, so... <laughs> <laughs> at least you at least you don't just use big words for the sake of big words. You actually are using them pretty well. I'm sorry. I don't think I can actually pick a favorite. I sell a ton of tea where I work. People are addicted to iced tea here. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people drink iced tea. Do you prefer psychological or physical <laughs> horror? Wait, what's physical horror? Oh, oh, like, okay. Oh, like, li like, 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 jump scares or like showing something scary. Okay. <laughs> It's like physical. It's like you're touching them to make them scared. Ah! It's like, oh god! I greatly prefer psychological over physical. And the latter only appeals to a basic sense of fear, grotesque imagery that humans are conditionally repulsed by. But the former is a higher fear, something intangible, something indirectly threatening. And I'd take an ounce of dread over a bloodbath any day. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I'm good at that. <laughs> One of my many strange talents. <laughs> only that one. <laughs> really? Only that one? I'm only good at that one. <laughs> what about the seashell one? What was it? Sally sells, she Sally sells seashells by the seashore? There you go. <laughs> Wait, why'd I do that? What Wait, am I good at that one now? <laughs> In Nasi's route of fruits, the soccer team voice is just a band for Bad MC to listen to. It was probably Radiohead. <laughs> probably was. Ooh, what a silly thing to ask. If you're trying to ease my nervousness, thank you. Marmots are indeed incapable of chucking wood. But if they could, I'm sure it would depend on their individual endurance. <laughs> I don't know. It was probably fun for her. I mean, I mean, it's interesting. At least she told us an interesting fact. <laughs> I didn't know that. Why are you so gosh hecking adorable? Watch your fucking mouth! No, you watch your mother freaking mouth! How about you watch your language, bitch? What the dang are you saying, you ding dong? Everyone freaking relax! This is a family friendly post! Christian sub everyone, so no swearing! Frick frack frunk, I was looking forward to that! Everyone's just calling. <laughs> There's a bunch of people yelling at each other. What was the first question? Why are you so gosh hecking adorable? Why, are, why, are so, why did someone say to shut their mouth? Everyone was fucking. I'm with Royal. Best thread. There's even one more you can't see off screen. Oh, damn. <laughs> you should all tame your tongues. But do you really think I'm adorable? I appreciate the sentiment, thank you. You are adorable, Yuri. <laughs> All the girls are adorable. How do you feel about video games, and would you ever want to be featured in one? <laughs> nice save, guys. <laughs> Hi, what's your general opinion on video games? Oh, I'm sorry if this comes as a letdown, but... I'm really not much of a gamer. <gasps> That's not a surprise. Oh, no. That's not a surprise. She's not a gamer. I don't have anything against the medium, and I do enjoy playing Smash Bros with the others. But I just prefer books. There are several reasons for this. I can't imagine why anyone would feature me in a game. What role could I possibly serve? Surely nothing very important. Well, don't say that, now I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're around! You're important. She doesn't know that. Perhaps as an enigmatics mystic in an RPG, or... I don't know. I think I'm too uninteresting for that. Hey! Stop! Like, no! Bad Yuri! Be nice! I feel, like, I feel like Yuri would really like to play Fire Emblem. She probably would! Yuri, buy Fire Emblem Three Houses! <laughs> <laughs> this is in no way sponsored by Fire Emblem Three Houses. I just really like that game. Stop saying it's full 
lame then. Fire Emblem Three Houses? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> if you don't want us, but you want me to let people know that you're not sponsored. Well, no, 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 no. If I, as long as I said the sentence, I am not sponsored, they now know that. Like that you are legally obliged to say that. <laughs> you're abided to say that you are not sponsored. Fine. She ends up, pl she ends up playing Fire Emblem in a follow-up follow actually. Yes! Yeah, because she plays Marth, so it's perfect. Play the game he's from. Really? Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> just play the game she, he's from. It I makes sense. Kinda, I just kind of thought that. I was like, you know, Yuri'd probably really like Fire Emblem. She would. She probably would. Or, or Dark Souls. I think she'd also like Dark Souls. Yeah. Or maybe Persona. Possibly. That's probably more of a Natsuki thing, Persona. Yeah, maybe. Hello, Yuri. No need to be shy. I heard you like novels. I do, too. My favorite novel is All Quiet on the Western Front by Eric Maria Remark. Hope I said that right. What is your favorite and why? Hey, Yuri. I was just wanted to know. Besides horror, what other types of genres do you read? What happens to be your favorite book? What's your favorite book and or song? <laughs> well, I think my interest in horror may be somewhat overstated. Fantasy is my greater pre preference. Any deep, immersive world will do. I like to be pulled in. It doesn't have to be a traditional fantasy setting, either. If I can imagine it clearly, it will suffice. That said, my favorite book is The Lord of the Rings. Although a trilogy, I have a collector's edition that includes all three. I could lose myself just about anywhere in Middle-earth. It's a rich and fleshed-out world, exactly to my liking. I'm not biased against any genre, but there are some types I simply enjoy more. Anyway, my favorite song is Patch P Patchel Bell's Canon. It's so serene. Well, that's nice. It's nice. 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 <laughs> oh my god, no! It's Smoomagoo again! <laughs> what are your thoughts on the Taurus criminal? Smoomagoo. I bet he types a woo instead of oo woo. Bastard! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I was expecting this one. It stood to reason you'd inquire about him with me as well. But I can't tell you anything the others haven't already said. In a way, it's disappointing you felt the need to per 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 perpetuate. 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 <laughs> Perpetuate. Perpetuate it. Hmm. <laughs> Though, I am unsure if I'd be more disappointed if you hadn't. Regardless, if you choose to pursue this in the remaining AMAs, well, don't expect much, I suppose. I really hated that. I, my mouth was not working <laughs> with me for that one. I know, I had to say it for it was like zero. I had to stop. I was like, stop. <laughs> Break down the big words of the parts and read them a bit at a time, Zero. <laughs> Don't you baby me, Torbius! It's okay, it's okay, Zero. Put your finger over the word and read it. Sound it out. Hey there, Yuri! I read one of your poems, The Raccoon. Why is this guy Sandy Cheeks? The Raccoon! Monica shared it with us on the Reddit. Oh, yeah, smart. My smart save. Now, I don't want to assume anything. But I really just wanted to ask, are you doing well? You're not still, uh, feeding the raccoon, are you? <laughs> oh, that didn't take long. <laughs> you really do know more than you should, don't you? I appreciate you treating the subject with some sensitivity. But I must apologize, I'm unready to speak on this matter. If you'll please be patient, I'll answer this question later. However, I am doing fine for now. Aw, oh, it's okay, Yuri. You take your time. Fuck you, Zerg. That's mean, SP. Why that didn't she say <laughs> what was that for? <laughs> also, I just wanted to tell you what I think, that you're extremely talented at what you do, and I hope you decide to share more of your work on your own someday. You may want to explore the possibility of sharing your work on the internet. If you haven't already, it's a lot less stressful to post stories and poetry publicly online than it is to publicly read them in front of people. And I think something like that would be a good fit for you. Honestly, at this point, I'm just reading these questions in any voice I feel like putting on. Yeah, I was a bit. What are you doing? Wow, <laughs> Why is he southern? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe He's cheap. For, maybe cheap freak forty-seven southern. You don't know him. <laughs> what? I don't know if I can do a Canadian. I'm just doing whatever voice comes up in my head. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think I'm talented. I don't know if I'd have the courage to share online, though. Putting my work out there for others to scrutinize would still be very stressful. I'm not used to sharing my writing, 
the club is the first I've ever really done so. Perhaps later I'll be ready to branch out, but for the time being... Uh, I just don't know. I hope this question wasn't too invasive, but I'm going to guess and say it won't be. Relative to the rest of them. Good luck with the rest of the AMA! Yeehaw! Um, it was a little invasive. But you asked it respectfully. Thank you. <laughs> so don't worry, I won't forget to revisit this. <laughs> Can you make funny scream? <laughs> y do you want me to scream? Um... I'd rather not. I hope that's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> If you were to pick a book to read and that's not the portrait of Markov, what would it be and why? I'm totally not asking because I'm not a good reading material. <laughs> why are they all cowboys? <laughs> I gotta do a different one. <laughs> do something else. I'll try. Oh, I'd love to recommend you something. But I have no idea what types of books you prefer. Or a level of recording you can handle. Reading. Recording. It's like, I don't- Reading! Why did I say recording? Help! <laughs> <laughs> Man, there's so much to choose from. You're really putting me on the spot here. I guess if there's an author you like, seek out more of their work. Or search online for the books of similar type. There are boundless stories awaiting you. I'm certain you can find plenty if you look. Oh, and I hope you aren't biased against Markov. It really is quite interesting, if it's the sort of thing you're into. Cam said do an English accent. I say, Yuri, what's your favorite adaptation of a book into the film or TV series? What do you think of adaptations of literature into other media? Um, film, TV, graphic novels, radio <laughs> stage plays. Hmm. I've never heard you do that before. Well, this may come as no surprise given my previous response. But the adaptations of The Lord of the Rings are simply exquisite. Where many books turn movies go wrong is in their artistic direction. Too often, it's a mere cash grab to profit off a popular series. And such was not the case for LOTR. Peter Jackson created those films because he was an avid fan of the work. He poured so much heart into them, it truly shows. The extended editions are, are even more faithful. So, while I'm supportive of such things, and know they can be done excellently, I am skeptical of them. Sacrifices must always be made, but only an impassioned director would produce a worthwhile result. <laughs> That sounds more like shitty Irish, uh, shitty Irish, thank the English Zero. Hey, I never said these are going to be good voices. That message, Twitch blocked it just now because it said shitty, shitty Irish. Shitty Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Shitty Zero Irish. say exit stage left in that voice. I don't, exit stage left. <laughs> we had to like make it, make the term able to be said. All right. All right, here we go. Number one, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, thank you for asking. This has not been easy so far, but I think I'm doing better. When did you start reading? Hey, Yuri, I'm just curious. Uh, where did you get your love for literature and reading come from? Uh, by the way, you're so adorable. Oh my God. Why did you do that with Uh, thank you. <laughs> it's hard <laughs> to say when exactly I first grew to love literature. It started at a young age, even as early as grade school. I was always different from my peers. They did not treat me well. Literature quickly became my escape. I felt I could vanish into a world that didn't judge me so harshly. But my bookishness did nothing for my social life. The rest is just an unfortunate trend. Who's the... <laughs> I guess let's go with Mario again. <laughs> Do you like cats? And if so, what is your favorite breed? Have a good day, Yuri! Yahoo! <laughs> Bowser doesn't talk! <laughs> yeah, he does? He just goes, Roar! Talks to Mario Sunshine, Mario! No one's gonna remember Bowser's voice from Mario Sunshine! That's rude! No one does! Everybody does! Fuck no off, one. Mario Sonic for life. You missed the most accurate English and Mario accents, Rella. So I just got back, what did I miss? Morella, you missed Mario! <laughs> he was just here! Indian time zero. I feel like that might get me in trouble. <laughs> I was going to say, but then I was like, no, I feel like that'd be bad. <laughs> that one might get me in trouble. Luigi. Yeah. I kind of did some Luigi, but I'll do I'll do Luigi the entire next question. When did this turn into zero's voice acting hour? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like cats, but I don't know much about their breeds. Same. <laughs> I can't give you cat breeds worth shit. <laughs> I've heard cats are so similar because they serve no purpose for humans. 
Unlike dogs, they've been bred for many reasons and why they vary so much. But there was one breed of cat... What was it? They have exceptionally thick and, fl thick and fluffy pelts. British long hair? They are remarkably cuddly. That sounds cute. <laughs> Hi, Yuri. First, I would like to apologize in advance for some of the questions you might get. After those previous AMAs, I felt like someone had to. Oh, no need to apologize. They've mostly been fine so far. Though we do have such a long way to go. Do you have any book recommendations for people who don't like a horror? I don't like any ghosts. <laughs> um, hmm. Non-horror book? There are still so many I'd suggest. If fantasy is what you seek, I'd recommend any of the following. LOTR, of course, but also Bridget Terabithia, the Narnia series, the Chronicles of Prydain, I don't know what book that is, <laughs> Redwall, Harry Potter, or if you want something more serious, a Song of Ice and Fire, in most any type of ancient mythology. Don't just stop at Greek. Is that enough to get you started? <laughs> Sorry that I called Zero soon. It's fine, Robbie. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's German. It's, I'm trying to be Luigi. <laughs> Luigi's secretly German. Don't tell Mario. Wait, were you doing a German voice? No, I was doing trying to do Luigi. I guess it sounded German. <laughs> Have you ever tried writing a book yourself? Then who's this? Is Wario? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> wow. Have you ever tried writing your own novels or short stories? If so, which genre is your favorite to write? And how do you find the overall experience? Wah ha ha! <laughs> I've never managed to write a story myself. For as much as I appreciate in intricate words of immense depth, creating my own does not come easily. I've had ideas, but they often resemble other works too closely. I seem to have trouble coming with the fully original concepts. Aw, it's okay, Yuri. <laughs> I don't consider this a bad thing, but I can't earnestly make a tale that uses others as a crutch. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Do Ganondorf. <laughs> I was say. Oh, we have to. There's no. There's another question. Oh, uh, let's guess. <laughs> what does the optimal number of cats to own? <laughs> <laughs> another cat question. I'm not a pet owner, but I think the ideal number of cats is two. A pair of cats can keep each other company while you're away, provided they get along. Although some cats may enjoy life alone as well. But getting three or more sounds like a- being three or more sounds like a real handful. Yeah, you'd be a crazy cat lady. I saw Kale- I saw someone say Sonic at one point. <laughs> I was gonna say, do Toad. <laughs> toad! <laughs> Yuri, do you like MC? Oh, it's okay, you can tell us if you do! <laughs> Shoot me. <laughs> yes, I like him. I think he's a wonderful addition to the club. He, he... <laughs> he didn't seem so at first, but I'm glad I encouraged him to read. Or did you mean I like like him? But because I am um, isn't uh, I wouldn't dream of. I mean, he's with Sayori, so. Aw, Yuri. You said the Sayori talked a lot about MC! What kind of things did she say? <laughs> I sound like I'm dying! <laughs> you look good and that's why it's bad! <laughs> Sorry, Mario! <laughs> this is the end of me! <laughs> oh my god. Mr. Mario, I don't feel so good! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so died. He just, it just turns into dust. Do Eggman's voice. Can I even voice Eggman? <laughs> But before he joined the club, she would often speak of him. Just little things here and there, antidotes, memories. I'm happy they're together. It's clear how deeply she cares for him. Do Michelangelo from TMNT? Isn't that just like a surfer dude? <laughs> what do you like about MC, Yuri? <laughs> like, he's like, he's Kagan! <laughs> <laughs> like, Shaw, sure, MC, what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Like Raph, chill out, dude! <laughs> well, he has many good qualities. 
He's so accepting and understanding, and thoughtful and patient. Sayori is very lucky to have him. Ah, uh, I'm just like running out. This is the only way to keep Zero interested in Yuri long enough to do this! <laughs> I never heard SP so like, this is gonna make it longer. And you doing this is making this shit way longer than it has to be! Zero's on a mission to destroy his voice as fast as possible. Basically. <laughs> Don't take off my mask, revealing love.